So after a month at work, I was ready to get home. Yesterday there was a flight delay due to low clouds and rain, so finally get out there today. So again, with the rain and low clouds, but it is flyable today. put a bunch of stuff that I need to take back to town for disposal here and uh, covered it with a tarp and that was my mistake. The second mistake is not turning on the electric fence when I left and you'll see why. So I forgot bears love foam. They like uh, seats on ATVs and snow machines too. Good to be home. Good to be home. The backpack and eggs. Get that ready. Got up on the porch. And that water jug has been chewed on. Uh, it's not good. So I didn't turn the electric fence on this time because I was afraid of snow and 
doing the switch over from lithium to the silicone gel batteries but uh yeah i had a bear up here i think i got new jugs i guess unbelievable oh, it's it's believable Check the shutters. So that was chewed on. That was chewed on. I don't see any scratches on any of these shutters yet. All right. Well, good. I shouldn't have left them out. A quick check of the freezer and the refrigerator, and it's still cold and uh, within temperature. Get this fired up. So this low voltage alarm was caused by the uh, lack of wind uh, and sun and the shading on the solar panels. I'm gonna have to pull that roof uh, off above the front door. Playing with this water barrel. Ugh. Hopefully they didn't chew on this. So I need to flip the barrel over so I can collect rainwater. I emptied them before I left. I was afraid they'd freeze solid and damage the barrels. That bear took my bear skull down. A couple bear claw scratches on the ATV shed. I'm getting ready to pull the ATV out and uh, bring stuff over from the helicopter landing zone. Pitching up the trailer so I can run over to the helicopter zone and pick up my supplies.
when I leave, I situate the wood stove so it's ready to light when I get back. So I can get the cabin warmed up quickly. I just turned the propane on. Now I'm just purging the air out of the uh, stove and checking all the burners. So everything in these black bags is uh, meat for 30 days. So I only brought 10 gallons of gasoline this time. Next time, I'll bring more. These solar panels are for the workshop. I'm upgrading the system down there. These panels are 100 watts each. And they just barely fit in the back seat of the helicopter. Any bigger, and I would have had to uh, bring them out by sling load. So I'm going to run down the trail and check my property and pull the footage on the uh, trail cameras. So this camera was bent down a little bit, so somebody was playing with it.
now it's time to put the groceries away. I'm going to fix this shading problem that I have on these solar panels for the silicone gel battery bank. Since the lithium battery bank can't be charged when it's cold, I switched to the outside battery bank, which is the uh, silicone gel, and that system runs when I'm at work. So this thing doesn't really serve much of a purpose. The snow builds up on it really tall. I gotta shovel it off and <clears throat> the thaw will drip and uh, create ice on the deck. It's shading my solar panels and really messing with that. So it needs to come down. If I figure out a reason why it's gotta be up, I'll put it back up and then put the solar panel somewhere else. But I don't see a need for it. It's more hassle than it's worth. And all right, it's coming down. Pretty sure that there's a screw in here. I don't want to have to take the solar panels down, so I'll just cut it off and rotate these uh, out of there. At least I'll make it sound easy now. It's probably 12 screws in there. Well. Not one on that side, and not one on that side, so that's good, good. There we go. I hope it doesn't tear up this cladding. This thing's heavy too. This isn't gonna go, this isn't gonna go well. <laughs> but it's gonna happen anyway. Move the uh, generator out. Don't break the front door glass. Nice sharp metal. One, two, two and a half nails holding that in. There it is. All right, so I need to fix these wires, caulk, run some paint. I got to get up there and do some caulking anyway. So I'll get the big ladder out here and get to work on that. So I'm going to go up, caulk all the uh, stuff that needs caulking and start high, work down low, let that dry up and then I'll put some paint on this. And uh, I got to get all this done before it rains again.
So I'm running around like a nut trying to get things done before the snow moves in, in like three days. And I had to replace this eave. So I'm up against the clock. So that's what I've been working on uh, yesterday and today. I should be wrapped up in the morning on this and then on to a couple other projects, but got that snow heading this way and uh, got about three more days to get this stuff done. Uh, temperature's just gonna drop down into the teens and uh, four days of snow, so. The neighborhood will probably look more like the mountains over there. It's gonna go from ugly brown to uh, white and that's welcome. I much prefer the, the white over this. So I tore down the old roof over the entrance door and all the lights, they quit working. So I just tore them off. I'm gonna get new ones. It's nice to be able to flip a switch and illuminate the whole area 360. So it's one of the good things about having lights all the way around the cabin. I have a little porch light right here. And since I took the uh, roof off, I don't get the shading over here on this panel anymore. You get full sun on both panels and that's the way they're designed to work. You shade one and you handicap the whole system. So we'll see how it works. If I got to put the roof back on, I'll put the roof back on and then uh, move the panels. Here's the backyard. I gotta cut all that wood up. Split it, stack it. I've got both snow machines, need some work. It has a little vent, air vent for the air box and I have to replace that. It's torn and it'll let snow in. So it's a 2015, so it's seven, eight years old almost. So I got to replace that and then the front bumper on the black snow machine. I got stuck and winched on it and it's very fragile so it just bent pretty easily. And then when I'm done with uh, both of those tasks, I'm going to get the snow machines ready for the winter. I have an oil change I need to do on the four stroke and the two stroke. I just need to go through it and check everything out. Next time I come home, I'm gonna be putting a different throttle and kill switch on this. It's gonna be a finger throttle. So I'm also working on this rain gutter. I should take them down and leave them down in the winter because the snow comes off of the roof and falls into the gutter, but they're pretty tough. Uh, I mean, this side here has been up since 1995 and just started breaking some of the brackets. So I'm just gonna leave the uh, gutter system up. I've got some rain coming also uh, in the next day or two, and that'll be the last time I can use my cisterns. I'm gonna have to shut them down for the winter. Otherwise they'll freeze solid. I also got to jump up on the roof and put some caulking around the uh, flashing. And while I'm up there, I'll probably go ahead and uh, clean the chimney. So I moved the uh, anemometer and the reason I did that is because when I have to get up onto the roof I do it from the other side because if I set the ladder up here and I fall off it's it's a long way down. So instead of plummeting to my death or severe injury I climb up on the roof from from the peak of the eave on this side and that way if I fall then I'll just hit the deck or maybe bounce off the railing and over. But that's how I get up so with that anemometer mounted right there I always had to take that down first before I could climb up there. Now I can just throw the ladder under there and scoot on up. A lot of critter action going on, a lot on the trail cameras. I'll post some trail camera photos I tried the shorts out. I really don't like doing shorts. I'm just not set up to do it and just, I don't know, I don't, I don't like it. So I'm just gonna shoot video on my trail cameras and just screenshot it and add, uh, add a couple photos in my videos because the 
trail cameras I have are low uh, resolution. And if I try to add them in my 4K videos, it jacks up the whole video. I'm sure there's probably a workaround, but I haven't figured it out yet. I gotta round up everything that is laying around and get that put up so that uh, when it snows, things aren't hidden all around. I don't like junk scattered everywhere anyway, but and that's the other thing I have to do. I need to take a bunch of trash over to the landing zone and put it in a bag for sling load back to town. A bunch of construction debris and plastics and stuff that I don't like to burn down in my burn pit over here. All right, I guess I'm gonna work on my uh, gutter system here, get that thrown back up. I need the rainwater, so it needs to go back up. So it's easy to put together when you're down on the deck, but then when you pick it up, it falls apart. So you gotta do it up here. Plus you had two people. Get off of there. <laughs> Cut myself. Nice. So, yeah, just punch myself in the nose. Sick of my shit. <laughs> there you go. Man, that thing's bleeding. I mean, they're just supposed to snap in there. You get that one that just wants to give you, give you problems. <laughs> 